Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm back after a bit of a break from adding some uh, content to the channel here. Uh, my goal is generally to have a video or two a week added, but uh, my spare time has uh, fluctuated a lot between uh, some vacation time, job and family demands and so forth. Uh, but I'll do my best to uh, stay consistent. Um, in this video, we'll be understanding what AWS Spot instances are all about compared to uh, EC2 on-demand instances. Now, most of the videos on the channel so far are lessons taken from an upcoming course I'm working on uh, focused on the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. Uh, I'm putting together a uh, you know, sampling of videos here on the uh, YouTube channel from uh, the course that provides some standalone value to viewers to learn some AWS topics and concepts and also to uh, help get some uh, feedback from myself on the uh, lesson content so it can help uh, improve future videos and uh, course lessons. So if you're checking out the uh, channel videos here, I always welcome any uh, feedback or questions. So uh, please add those to the comments and I'll uh, get back to you. Um, I'll also note that the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course is almost complete. Uh, it should be ready in the next few weeks uh, if all goes well. Uh, and there's already a ton of lessons there along with uh, quizzes, uh, interactive flashcards, and a bunch of exam questions as uh, sort of an exam simulator uh, to help you prepare now. While I'm finishing up the course, uh, I'm offering a limited 100% off discount code while the course is still in its beta stage of development. Um, so if you check out the video description here for a link to the course, and uh, you also see the coupon code to use so you can get early access to the course for free. Uh, in return, I would just really appreciate any feedback on the course to uh, help improve it and uh, certainly make uh, future courses I got planned even better. So with all of that, uh, this video is also a lesson from that course where we uh, get a high level understanding of AWS spot instances for the scope of that AWS certified cloud practitioner exam. Uh, so let's dive in. Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll look at the AWS Compute Service EC2, but focus on two main choices related to pricing for these EC2 instances, uh, on-demand and spot. So as we know, we have tons of choice with the variety of EC2 instance families uh, to find that best fit instance type to use based on our workload requirements. Uh, and then we pay for that on-demand rate for the length of time we use that EC2 instance. Now, if we think about what's going on behind the scenes at AWS data centers, they'd have thousands of these physical servers of different configurations all up and running to host your EC2 instances on. And they'd want to avoid capacity issues for customers where you know, they simply wouldn't have enough servers available to run your EC2 instances on when you need to. Now, it'd certainly be frustrating as a AWS customer to need to deploy a bunch of EC2 instances for a scale-out scenario to handle a you know, sudden peak in traffic to your systems, but only find out that there's no capacity available and you're not able to launch them. Now, at very extreme scales, this out-of-capacity scenario can happen, uh, and that's a broader topic outside of our scope here, but AWS works very hard to ensure its data centers have the necessary capacity available to its customers when they need it. But in order to make this happen, AWS would need to over-provision their data center resources to handle any sudden demand increases from their customers. For an easy example, uh, let's just say AWS aims for a 20% over-provision target. So they have this extra 20% of capacity in case several customers, uh, new and existing, uh, all need to launch significant amounts of EC2 instances all at the same time. But that 20% buffer is just a bit of an insurance policy. The likelihood of a massive scale-out scenario occurring all at the same time would be pretty low. So 20% of these servers are basically sitting around idle. Now, as we learned in the earlier lessons when running a traditional IT data center yourself, all these wasted resources are very costly. So instead of having this 20% capacity doing nothing and costing AWS money by sitting idle, AWS offers this surplus of server capacity to customers at a highly discounted rate. AWS calls EC2 instances that use this capacity surplus spot instances. Now, the savings with spot instances can be as high as 90% compared to the typical on-demand rate. So the savings with spot instances can be very significant, but there's a catch. Now, remember that these instances run in this uh, spare capacity of AWS. So what happens if there's a sudden spike of customers needing to launch EC2 instances? Well, if AWS doesn't have enough free compute capacity available, they'll essentially kick your spot instances out of this surplus capacity zone so they can run on-demand EC2 instances for other customers. AWS sends you a spot instance interruption notice two minutes ahead of time before your spot instances stopped or terminated. So because of this potential volatility of EC2 spot instances, where they could be shut down by AWS at any point, 
some workloads aren't ideal for running on spot instances. However, for a lot of workloads, especially running batch jobs or background processing or other optional tasks, where these can handle possible interruptions and the processing task can be restarted later, uh, spot instances can be a fantastic option to save a lot of money on your EC2 compute costs. And that's it for a quick lesson here on EC2 pricing when looking at uh, EC2 on-demand rates compared to using spot instances. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.